Hey folks, John Muller from the JP Muller Group, and I wanted to talk to you today about enabling scripts. You have to remember that the first step you do whenever creating a new um, you know, instance of the spreadsheet is to enable the scripts. This will ensure that all the formulas get copied correctly as you start inserting and deleting rows, etc., and, and doing other manipulations. So I want to walk you through this. Um, pay uh, really close attention. Um, you know, it's sometimes not obvious how Google handles this. So um, you, you know, you got to get every step right to ensure that it's uh, correctly. Um, um, enabled. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to, in the menu up here, go to Tools and Script Editor. This is going to open up a new tab with all the scripts. And you can see it there. And then we're going to choose Edit and Current Projects Triggers. And you notice it'll say No Triggers Set Up. Click here to add a new one. If you see this message, you know that they're not enabled. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click on this link and we're going to drop down this first drop down and choose on change. The second drop down we're going to choose from spreadsheet and the third drop down we're going to choose on change. Now we're going to click save. Now it's going to tell me authorization is required. We're going to click review permissions and it's going to bring up an account selector, unless you only have one account or it automatically logs you in. We're going to choose my main account. It's going to tell me the app isn't verified. I'm going to click on advanced here and notice it's going to allow me to now scroll down. I'm going to scroll down to go to the project plan functions and then I'm going to scroll down again and notice it wasn't showing the buttons so sometimes you think you're done but you're not really done. Scroll down and click allow and then we're back at the script editor. Now if you wanted to make sure that you did it correctly, all you have to do is click Edit Current Projects Triggers and you'll notice now I didn't get the error message that actually came up with the on change from spreadsheet on change trigger setup. And then we just close down this tab, we're back in our sheet and we're ready to go. You only have to do that the first time for each instance that you generate, but you have to remember to do that, otherwise um, you, you know your spreadsheet won't work correctly. If you happen to start manipulating the spreadsheet um, before you enable them, then enable the scripts at that point and then you could go to project plan and fix formulas and it should actually fix anything that you may have broken uh, while manipulating the sheet before the, the, the scripts were enabled. Thanks for joining and I hope you enjoyed this video.